everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you a tour of my art supplies that I use for my recluse journal and other art projects. Starting out with chalk pastels which are my absolute favourite. I use this brand called Inscribe Pastels and they're really cute and little and there's heaps of colours in this. I love to use these for backgrounds because they're really good at blending colours together. Chalk pastels are what I mainly use on my reckless journal and the one I made previously. When I've finished a page or artwork with chalk pastels, I'll usually go over it with a light spray of hairspray and that just sets the page so when you touch it or brush past it, the chalk pastel isn't going to come off. Now for some more chalks. These are by Montmartre. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, I always get it wrong. But these are the ones I also used in my breakfast journal. They're just a little bit more pigmented. And then I've also got some Crayola pencils. Some more chalks. These are by Kaiser Color. And you can apply these with a brush or your finger. They're incredibly pigmented. Next up are my brushes and liner pens. This would have to be my favourite watercolour brush for backgrounds. I'm not even sure what brand it's by, but if I find out, I'll leave a note below. So I have quite a few different sizes and brands of brushes. If you wanted to know in more detail, I'll leave them in the description below. So this is a no brand permanent marker that I use all the time. It's cheap, it's cheerful and I love it. This next one is an Artliner pen in 0.2 for the finer details. Then I have another one in 0.4. There's not a huge difference. And this one, it's the same kind of thing. I'm pretty sure this is a 0.4 as well. Another one in 0.5, I think. The name kind of rubbed out a little bit. This is probably one of my favorites. It's in 0.6, so it's just a little bit bigger. I'll do a test at the end so you can see the difference between them all. These ones are calligraphy pens. I have them in blue, green, and red. Then this is my favorite mechanical pencil. Gotta love mechanical pencils. Then I have my graded pencils and sketching pencils. The sketching pencils literally cost like $5 from Kmart, I think. So you don't have to have expensive things if you want to do art, you can just do it. <laughs> then I have my graded pencils. There are a couple missing, but basically they're just graded using the numerical graphite scale. That's my big word of the day. Next is markers, pro markers, and copics. So these are just some no brand permanent markers that were $12 from Kmart. I don't tend to use these in reckless journals because they go through the page. Next are the pro markers and copics. Both Pro Markers and Copics are really great because they have a thin side and a thick side. They're also really great for blending and creating a gradient effect. Next are pens and gel pens. The ones on the left are by Star Below and the ones on the right are by Smiggle. They are a stationary brand in Australia. I'm not sure if they're worldwide, but they're really good pens and I think they're only $10, which is pretty good. The Star Below ones, I had these in a pack of 15 and I got them when I first started high school, but I lent them out after people asked to borrow them and they never gave them back. So if you nicked one of my pens in high school, you're rude. 
Next are my gel pens. They are by a brand called Jots. Have them in fluoros, glitters, metallics, and I also have some Smiggle gel pens. And the same story goes. Bought them in high school, and I have two left out of ten. Most of the Smiggle stuff is all scented, so if it's purple, it'll be grape. If it's pink, it'll be strawberry. Actually, everything I think they have in store is scented in some way, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Next up are my paints. These are paints by Delusions. They are acrylic paints and they're just a little bit more liquidy. The colours of these are just absolutely amazing. Then I have paint pens by Posca. Now these can actually write on pretty much anything. They can write on fabric, cardboard, glass, anything you can think of. So what happens is it's a pen but when you press down some paint comes out. It's kind of hard to demo it but they're pretty amazing. I love them. Watercolors are next, another favorite of mine. I have a whole range of brands. Some are on the cheaper side and others are a little more expensive. So these are by Montmartre and then we have Art Spectrum. And I'll leave some of the other brands in the description below. These are water activated pearl colors. I'm not too sure of the brand, but I'll try to find out and leave it in the description below. They're not too vibrant, but they just give a little bit of a shine. Next up are inks. These are by Art Spectrum. I've used these in the nebula painting. Basically, if the watercolor paper is wet, all you do is drop one drop and it will spread like crazy over the page. Next up are pigments. These can be used mixed with water or they can be mixed with other paints. I have a few different colors, they're by Perlex. Next up are highlighters. I absolutely love highlighters. These ones are by Smiggle and they're also scented and I actually have all six of them. The highlighters in the middle are from Kmart and cost me a whole two dollars. The silver bullet looking ones which kind of remind me of Mission Impossible, I think I also got them from Kmart for around five dollars. And the ones at the far back on the left are also from Smiggle and they're scented. If you can't already tell, I like scented things. Next are my textures and these are by Crayola. The last things I will show are my ink sprays. These are by Tattered Angels and they're a glimmer mist. I have these in a few different colors. So basically what you do is you spray the inks on a page from an angle and they look really awesome on the page. If anyone was wondering how I did the Reckless Journal page squirt here with liquid in my completed Reckless Journal, that's how I did it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I gave you a little bit of an insight. Until next time. Whoa.